What's it? Right here, dude. Are you serious? I, I saw a little white face in the bush. Just in that thicket of grass, the thicket, that real thicket nasty shit. You can see okay. just barely a face. Barely a face. It's a whitish, blackish face. You can just see it in the grass. Orcs are the ones that are like 18 feet tall with long necks, right? Oh, no. <laughs> that stuff's thick as shit. Oh, oh, it's all the vehicles, so he's... He kind of looked over here, huh? He's thick as shit. Let me see. I'll point him out. You're not going to yep. find him. you got to have eyes. Oh, oh freaking tall. doesn't Hold think this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I can't believe I spotted him. Not even that thick stuff. We're in New Mexico. First morning. Pulled in really late last night, so we didn't even turn the cameras on. I'm down here with Justin of New Mexico Airhead out here. And with Travis Stevens of TS Customs. And then Matt is over on another ridge. <coughs> and <coughs> we all have Oryx, or we all have Odd tags, but I also have an Oryx tag. Yeah, dude, you're standing right there. Yep. They're all bedded down in there. They didn't go very far at all from this net. At all. And. <laughs> We just drove out to our first location and within five minutes, Justin's already spotted the oryx. Justin's got the eagle eyes, dude. Nothing, nothing's changed, I guess, huh, Justin? No, nothing's changed. <laughs> <laughs> nice moving a little bit. Dude, that one right there looks freaking pretty good. In the bush that's facing to the right. Sorry, I lost in there for a second. Um, right now he's really, he's impossible to see because he's looking, looking to the right, but looks, looks fairly tall. There should be eight of them. Which way is that wind blowing? I think we got the winner of this one. Oh yeah. Well, if we go that time and cut in, we'll be good. They don't like the cold, so they're going to hold in there until it, the sun breaks out. Can you still see him, Joe? Yeah, I'm on him. They are in a nice little stick next. The one I'm looking at looks pretty dang good. If if I'm actually catching his, his, his horns and not brush. Not that I've looked at a lot of oryx in my life to be able to tell what's good or not, but he seems like he's got pretty big, pretty heavy and tall. Like you can see, I mean, I, I think you can see plain as day. Here, just look at that, lower that down a little bit. If you, if you hadn't already, if I wouldn't have already seen him in there, I wouldn't be able to pick him out. Right. Like there's, there's absolutely no way. The only thing is, yeah, who knows where they're all at? There's eight of them. I know. You get busted by one. Okay, I think I got, I got another one. Or I, I think there's another one behind him, like down. 50 yards better down. I can see some ears. I see a white in the face. Like it's pretty much dead center and you can, I mean, a little bit of gray behind some brush, Travis. But it's pretty challenging to pick it out. Yeah, that was an impressive spot, dude. The, per use. Justin per use with the impressive spot. <laughs> Matthew barely had the camera on from the trip before Justin already spotted an animal. Let's 
go make a game plan and go. Dude, actually, I think you're looking at another one over here. Yeah, the one I'm looking at's over there's, here. There's eight. They're spread out. So that's yeah. Why. They're gonna work that draw so we can get down Dude, over I, here. I can see this one's horns like pretty good. Like, you got a step stool. Right. <laughs> Should be pretty close there still, but. Oh, you have one way over there. I see. Where you're looking at one way to um, the right. There's even one way. Look at that one. That one's in the freaking open. Way right. Yeah, I wasn't looking at that one. Alrighty, get you done. Get it loaded. That one looks pretty decent too. Oh, there's two of them right there, dude. I know. They're trying to move, so you need to move. Okay. <coughs> Just stay here, Travis. If you don't mind. Yep. Just give you the phone scope and record it up there. Okay. <coughs> so there's one in my pack if you need it. What's that? No. It's like they're 800 yards out right now. Yeah, no kidding. It's the first time I've used this gun without without my pretty little telescope. I took it off because I wanted to save weight. They just shifted. Oh, really? Okay.
actually some that are gonna be in this bush closer, dude. Huh? I think they're all right in there where he's stuck. Okay. Because that's where I saw those two. Okay.
goes all the way around. Stay down, Matthew. He's a little high there, bud. right out like there's a hedge straight out in front of us that's like 206 and he's just behind it so, just so you know when you have to he's just standing there behind it and it's like
of enemies. Like, 200, and I'm trying to pick up range that I thought was close, like, just right in it. And it looks like it was like 260, maybe, between 2 and 260. Dropped him. Yes. Load again, load again. Right there, he's the one on the floor, moving. Oh, that's good. Good shot. 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 So fast that happens right there, dude. You know what that reminded me of? It reminded me of on the, when we were white tail hunting that one time we just like would crawl, oh, sit and wait forever. It's a lot hotter. <laughs> it's a lot hotter. We just him and that cow dude. Yeah, <clears throat> Travis. That was awesome. First oryx. We think a pretty good bull. Well, you can start working your way this so, way if you know where we're at. We got one down. Copy. Don't 
I'm gonna bring my pack. Yeah, so any of us have our packs with us? Yeah, can you bring bring the packs? Uh, At least mine. Bring Jordan's for sure, and uh, if you can head out this way. Dude, totally awesome. Out here first morning in New Mexico. Don't forget to pull the keys out. Out in some pretty, pretty cool country. So I had an Oryx tag, and then Matt, myself, and Travis have sheep tags. And that's the big thing is getting Travis a sheep. But we knew where these were at this yeah. morning, and so we were like, hey, they're here. Like, let's take yeah. the time and try to get one down. And yeah, we still have three and a half days, and yeah, be able to do a little glass and not much walking, but at least maybe glass something for tomorrow morning. And yeah, then we can focus on the sheep tomorrow. So exactly, that was a lot of work, though, man. That took us. We started this at daylight, and it's 10:30. Yeah. So I mean, shit, we had them over here. Yep. And then they just kept getting away from us. I figured that they were going to hit this road, so we hauled buck and <laughs> hauled all the way around. Then we ended up bumping three different ones. Yeah, and we almost got a shot on a pretty decent bull. Yeah, he was, he was a nice bull. So, I mean, they were, like I told you, there was a total of eight or nine that one of my buddies told me that he was driving last night. So there's eight or nine. They were like 200 yards off the road last night. Crazy. So he kind of waited for them to go off, and they didn't go very far. I was no. surprised they stayed in that arroyo last night, but only two so the rest of them were moving already yeah and we're still what three or four unaccounted for so i don't know where they went all right and this was the guy that i mean he was definitely the what biggest we, one yeah we were looking at this guy we were keeping tabs on him so and we almost like it was a struggle where we were set up we could not get any closer because the wind there was no cover and the cow actually was like presenting us with a good shot at, like 260 280 yeah and we were like should we take that well, I, knew, I knew he was gonna walk the same path yeah that cow's you, going, you did it dude you know i just said just be ready because you're gonna have to shoot him on a walk he ain't, yep. he ain't gonna and that's, stop and that's what i did it was so like you, when he first walk. came out i'm like right there right there come on shoot shoot <laughs> like we're gonna miss our opportunity boom like, thank god oh, no, no, I, was just, me. I was just getting on him dude making sure i was i knew i was gonna get one shot so i was just making sure it was gonna be and be it said it was 280 but i figured he went further back because yeah. he was coming on the other three. side of the bush yep. i said i bet he's three just shoot him for three yeah and right when you said that i actually i upped my click so i'm glad you did because yeah. he must have been right on about three i think he was right at three and even if he if, if he was uh, a little closer he still center points him somewhere right he aiming low. So let's he did. Look at this guy. that's awesome dude work we're doing all this morning. and it is getting hot holy moly we left negative 50s in South Dakota, and now it's like 50 yeah, degrees here. Like <laughs> dude, I know. After having the you sun on you down right here today, too, dude, to go, uh, that is a big animal, dude. Holy oh, boats. I didn't realize they were quite that big. Yeah. Dude. Job. Another one, another one, day. dude. Always. I'm telling you, so this is our sixth year in a row hunting together. That's why I keep putting in with you, dude. It's incredible. Like, if, if you want a chance of a ton of different species in New Mexico, you know, I say a ton of different species. A ton of different species. Yeah. And then some of the best best stuff we've done i mean we've had some incredible elk hunts over the years oh yeah elk, i mean it's what we're known for but yeah, yeah. i mean oryx but something like this is i mean in february for us like oh, it's good. how much fun is this to yeah. come down and you have the missile range <coughs> hunts which you know kind yep. of their premier area where yeah you know where they are but you know we've been the draw percentages for trying to draw missile range is three percent in, in the outfitter pools it's horrible right you put something like an off-range oryx you know, it's, it's, it jumps up to like, February is actually the hardest month. So I don't know how you drew February. I know, I got so lucky. Yeah. Like February is like, like 15%, but like December, November, March, they're almost 40%, which way, you know, you at least got a chance. You know, yeah. you're almost one and two, one and three at the top. So what a great opportunity to yeah. come down wherever you're from and have some fun on those off months where you're not traditionally hunting mm -hmm. and have a blast and yep. do something like this. Like it really reminded me, like you said, the kind of like antelope hunting yep. it's because antelope it's just hunting. flat. Yeah, this Stop. particular spot is, yeah. is pretty flat. We had it back back home a little close. I mean, the only reason we're hunting this here is because we're sheep hunting, but where I typically hunt them is back closer to, to Las Cruces. But they're yep. here, and I know they're here, so I mean, it's just one typically find them here. It's kind of just odd, odd animal to be out and you know so far away from a range. But, yeah. You know, if you, if you got the right outfitter that knows where they're at and does the homework, these off-range hunts are. We've been 100% success. Everybody's gotten a shot. 
You That's know, so awesome. This year, two guys did, you know, go home empty handed, but they shot probably every day at Oryx. They just, they just couldn't connect. Their air, you know what yep. I mean? But we've remained 100% opportunity on these Oryx, whether it's missile range, off range, or McGregor range, straight across the board. I mean, we get it done. So Awesome. And we, like, we hunted season three Audad down here in a different unit. Yeah. And, like, looking at the countryside, similar look, but this is way bigger. Like, I can't wait to get up in these mountains with Travis. This is big stuff, man. This, this is, is awesome. This is rim rocky stuff. Yeah. This is gnarly stuff. It's a lot bigger than where we were at last time. <laughs> this stuff behind us yeah. is in we're freaking incredible. That stuff. We'll stay on this No, side. let's go up there. <laughs> that, this is going to make a sweet far. picture, man. Like, oh, yeah. this oryx with this behind here. It's going to be beautiful. Dude, be thank you so much. I always appreciate you so much, man. Call, man. Helping us out. And Glad we got this done. Creating great I'm friendships. Dad the rest of the couple days. And that's what I'm looking forward to because <laughs> Travis Stevens of TS Customs has treated us so well. Like, our whole team. You, me, uh, Matt, you know, set us up with... Our custom rifle builds that are literally one of a kind. Mm -hmm. Nobody does, oh, yeah. you know, very few guys in the country even do what he does. Right. No, they're great guns. I mean, and, uh, just proved right there. One, one shot, about 300 yards, flat <laughs> yeah. out dropped him. So. Yeah. Not too and so, flat out drop Warwick usually. It's, that's what I told you. I said, be ready to shoot several times. Cause he did tell me that. He's like, once, if you, he's like, when you shoot, you put another one in. He's like, you, you shoot until you know he's not down. Hair or something, you better. That's why I was like hurrying to get into a position just in case he jumped up. We have a good yeah. second shot, you know. Cause, yeah. Yeah, you know what you're doing, dude. You you've done, you've done this. Things. Those things like to get up on you. I almost felt like African safari once, I, once we shot and you started like moving in position. I was like, I feel <laughs> I like you're like in Africa. Africa huh? about, yeah. They do, because they know they, those animals jump up and so they tough. try and like get, you know. Oh, yeah. They're so tough. I got to get my dad get to put in for this He would love this. Oh, yeah. You would love good this. Deal. Good job. Congratulations. Heck man. yeah, man. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Dude, what a sweet freaking Darn. animal. I was like, get past <coughs> at him. I was like, Dude, oh, his bases. Are we going to eat something? Or we're going to shoot the Sorex and then eat something. Because something's got to happen. <laughs> those, are, I mean, those are big bases, aren't they? Yeah. They seem like good bases, I guess. He was still kicking him a second ago, so be careful. Oh, this is good Orcs. Look at that Orcs. Look at that, dude. That is good Orcs, dude. Yeah, solid. Nice heavy rings, dude. You can't solid orcs. You can't get better than that, especially an off range like that. Holy smokes! <laughs> wow. I mean, these bases are actually like so. My I'm I'm going around the very base, and I'm, I can't touch. He's at least six or so inches. Wow, dude. Pretty orc. Full mature. I I I don't know for a fact, but I I thought I read sometimes like when they start getting. Like older, more mature, that their rings start getting really short yeah, at the bottoms. Be, yeah, yeah. Uh, they put on 90% of their horn growth in the year and a half. Really? After that, it's just very minuscule, and then they just put on the mass and the rings. That's like crazy. The rings and stuff. So, yeah, so like he was probably, you know, probably this long when he was born. He was in a year and a half, he was already this. The difference is they start to get shiny and polished, and that's when you know you got a mature. Sweet, dude. Mature beast. Dude, I'm so grateful right now. I see what you shot. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like there's a little blood spot right there, so. Right, oh, I hit him a little forward. That's all right. So, yeah, right there, <laughs> right in front of the shoulder. That works for me. <laughs> apparently works. Yeah, apparently works. <laughs> I mean, you've heard me and Justin <laughs> sit here and talk for the last five minutes about this, but, man, when I drew this literally like a year ago, just under a year, I was so stoked because I've always wanted to to hunt one of these bad boys. Justin has great success down here with this hunter, so I'm always seeing pictures with his guys. And uh, you know, our main focus is going to be Barbary sheep down here this week. So I was going to be happy with about anything. And we saw this guy this morning, and then it was kind of like our normal competitiveness comes out, <laughs> and we want to get the best one one possible. And man, I mean. Talk about a beautiful animal. I mean, the colorations in the face and even along their legs down here is phenomenal. And this guy is a beast, a beast of an oryx. Huge bases, great length. I have no idea what his length might be, but pretty great. Pretty, add it to the list of six years of memorable hunts with Justin Medina down here in New Mexico. Pretty awesome. On to sheep. Dude, good work, man. Good work. We drug Matthew around, <laughs> holding the camera, crawling around forever this morning. Yeah, my knees were like, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. 
It's awesome. Let's get some good pictures, man. See their hide. It's thick as bananas, huh? Thick as bananas. Like, I don't even know. My, my swing blade doesn't always work on them. That's what you get right there. We're going to life size them, right? Just, just do a life size? Life size? Yeah. yeah. I have the space for that. Keeping my record. I'm two days tops on, on off range Oryx, so I haven't had to go any more than two days. <laughs> Most awesome. of them have been one day. This is my third one day here. You just gotta quit being such a good guide, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <It> <laughs> be the problem. Quit being such a good guide, Justin. Always showing out. That's incredible, dude. Darn lions around here. <laughs> yep, three days to get Travis a ram, dude. All right, last load, me and Matthew had to come back up in here quick and get the head. We got me, Travis, Matthew, and Justin got everything else out on the first load. So what a special, special day, man. My first, first Oryx tag that I drew down here and we spotted some first morning, came in here and got to get the job done. Made a great shot with the TS Customs rifle. And it's just cool to have Travis here, the guy who made that rifle for me here with us on the hunt. So pretty special, you know, we're here all the way in February. It's been such, we say this every year, it's a long year. It goes fast, but it's also very long because we're scouting in the summer and we have so many hunts that just lead us everywhere throughout the fall. We, we, we do a lot of tags. I mean, we hunt, we hunt a lot. We spend a lot of time on the road away from family. And so to go out here in February, obviously most guys are, are done, but it does extend our hunting season. A little bit so it's a it's a special thing to be able to come down and do and finding those opportunities in anything in life finding those little opportunities to continue to do things that you love to continue to find those things that will propel you with your goals your dreams and your ambitions because if you're stagnant if you're sitting around that's it's that's when it's so easy for the negative thoughts to get, get going that's when it's easy for the self-doubt to creep in and you really start questioning yourself. And it's really not even your own voice. Like you truly, if you self-evaluate, you truly don't believe that. It's, it's coming from elsewhere. It's coming from the rest of the world that is actually telling you that you're not good enough or it's impossible to accomplish these things. Especially if you're a dreamer and you're a go-getter, you go out and you're, you're trying to, you're trying to get better, you're trying to, accomplish great things but you just have to keep the course stay consistent and keep searching out these opportunities search out these things that <coughs> will continue to just help you find success these little tiny wins these little tiny successes like this will just help you one build that consistency so people are seeing that so you're seeing that you're building that then that self-confidence when you're doing that and when you have that self-confidence it's just that full circle you're going to continue 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 to find those opportunities to try to be successful so we got several more days to hunt here hopefully we have several more of these pack out thoughts to film but if we don't they're always a special little moment you know it's only a few minutes you know this is a short pack out this was like maybe a mile you know, we did it twice, two two trips, but they're every pack out special because you only get so many. So they're always a special time. You embrace having the weight on your shoulders and you keep grinding. So thanks for listening.